hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel german talks if you are new here then please subscribe and like to my youtube channel german talks and if you have any questions regarding german language or germany you can also follow me on instagram now again today we are going to continue with a chapter number seven of netzwerk e1 frage nummer sechs a einen kaffee machen to make a coffee was muss man tun what one must do Ordnen Sie die Anweisung, then bilden Sie. Bilden means pictures. And Anweisung means direction. Direction. Now, here there is one uh, question for you. Why here there is a zoo at the end of the sentence? You need to tell me in the comment which grammar part it is that why we, we wrote the zoo at the end of the sentence. A. Start drucken. B. Wasser einfüllen. C. Then Kaffee genießen. D. Kaffee einfüllen. A. Kane in die Kaffee Maschine stellen. And F. Filter Tute ein liegen. Now, drucken means to press. To press. Wasser einfüllen. Okay, to fill. And you already know Asa means water. Then Kaffee Genizen. Genizen means to enjoy. Again, Kaffee and Fuelen. Now to fill the coffee. Kane means cane. In the Kaffee machine, Stellen. And filter Tute, Ein Liegen. Ein Liegen. Ein Liegen means to insert. Okay, Einliegen means to insert. You can also see here how we can break this uh, word Ein and then Liegen. So uh, Liegen, Liegen means to put. And if we add Ein, then Ein Liegen. Ein Liegen means to insert. In some book you will see here dot. In some book you can also see the line like this. What does this uh, denote? It's mean it's a train bow up. Okay. It's a train bow up which we already did. Means the first word will going to break and come at end end of the sentence. This one. That's why some in some books they put dot. In some book they put line. It means that it will going to break. If you are not going to use your modal verb on second place, then it will going to break. What can be the answer for first one? First picture. You can see here. This is uh, water. And the direction of this is this one. So what can be the answer? Wasser einfüllen. Yes, to fill the water. So it can be B. Wasser einfüllen. In the second picture. What can be the answer for second picture? This one is the filter. Here. This one is the filter and we are inserting it. So filter tutor ein liegen. F you can see in this one this is uh, written also here it is coffee and we are putting coffee inside. So what can be the answer? Coffee ein fuelen day. Then what is this? This is a cane or cattle. So can, can be the answer this one. Kane in the coffee machine is stolen. So this one is A. Then you can see here this one. It's pressing like he's turning on the machine. So answer can be this one A. Start broken. And at the end like the coffee is made up. So answer will be then cafe genizen. Like to enjoy the coffee. In Zex Bay. We mag man ein einen Kaffee. How one can make a coffee? Erklären Sie Ihrem Partner oder Ihre Partnerin die Kaffee Maschine. Okay. What we need to do, like for example, if it is an offline class, what we can do, like uh, it can be a expression tile where there will be a group discussion and where students can use these uh, sentences and they can do the expression, like how they can make the coffee. So right now we are connected on YouTube, like on internet. So what you can do is you can make your uh, expression audio 
and you can send me on my instagram and i will let you know if it is correct or not also if you feel feel good you can also make the video of you and you can share me on in the instagram zeban a be unse this style is for pronunciation okay like you all i already gave you on google drive the link for the uh, audio so you can play this all and you can improve your pronunciation aushpraka now act a neue freunde means new friends lesson sie den brief you need to read the letter was machen die mitglieder zusammen mitglieder means members zusammen means together okay no luis macro bonus trace 100 zolf 40 zwei drei da cool einleitung zum monats treffen und zum sommerfest liebe herr macro herzlich willkommen in kohl viele danke für ihre interesse im um sprach club international Unsere Mitglieder können bei uns in verschiedene Sprachen diskutieren und neue Leute kennenlernen. What does this mean? This one Einladung zum Monatstreffen und zum Sommerfest means Einladung means invitation. Invitation to the uh, Monatstreffen means where we uh, meet monthly und zum Sommerfest in summer festival. Now this one, whenever you are going to write the uh, emails, you write like this: Lieber Herr, and the name. One thing you know, you need to note here is: for mail we use Lieber, for mail we use Lieber and Herr, and for female it is Lieber and Herrin, and the name of the person. For example. priya again for a1 exam or a2 exam this one also counts in your schreiben if you will wrote for example for mail if you will wrote this one then your marks will going to deduct okay so it is very important to note down this terms many times students what they do they, they just memorize it and they forget in the exam that it will come lieber or it will come lieber so the trick is trick is uh, if you know a table of article yes where we write here masculine neutral feminine un plural yes here for masculine what we write there for neutral das and for feminine d and again for uh plural d <clears throat> if you will note here in masculine the ending is d e r and in feminine d same concept will going to apply here for masculine e r for feminine e simple right er and for feminine e yes now you know okay i'm writing from uh, mr hair so i need to write and what masculine will come there der so i will write er and if i'm writing for female so what come in feminine article e the d there does d so the e ending so e okay and this you already know hair means mr and if you will write in then misses okay like this it's a small trick to remember herlish will come in call like they are uh, hardly welcoming in call the name of the city feel a dank for your interest and am prag club international okay feel a dank unsere mitglieder können bei uns in verschiedene sprachen diskutieren our members can by us in different verschiedene means different sprachen means languages 
डिस्कुटेड मीन्स टू डिस्कस एंड नो आई लॉट है कैनल लेन एंड कैनल लेन मीन्स टू नो ओके टू नो अबाउट न्यू पीपल वी आर ऑर्गेनाइज यर एन नाउ वॉट दे आर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग दीज आर द थिंग्स ओके आइन जो आय द्राय फियर फुन्फ मोनाटलिश ट्रेफन बाय प्राक्टिशन नो वॉट आर विच आर द लँग्वेजेस डॉएच इंग्लिश स्पानिश हॉलँडिश जपानिश जी वेल एन इयर एश प्राख ऊ डिस्कोशन एन मिथ देन एंद्र उबर आयने बेस्टिम टू थेमा यू चूज युअर लँग्वेज दिस मीन्स टू चूज वेल एन यू चूज युअर लँग्वेज एन डिस्कस विथ दी अदर अबाउट अ बेस्टिम थीम ऑन अ सर्टन थीम ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कॅन चूज युअर लँग्वेज इट कॅन बी हिंदी इंग्लिश जर्मन एन यू आर गोईंग टू डिसाईड ऑन वन थीम ओके फॉर एक्झाम्पल क्रिकेट फुटबॉल फुटबॉल कॅन बी द थीम एन यू बोथ नीड टू डिस्कस ऑन युअर ओन लँग्वेज लाईक दिस दे आर टॅलिंग फर्ड मिटले लू फॉन टांडेम पार्टनर फॉर फर्स्ट रिनर्श प्राखन झी ट्रेफन इयर एन टांडेम पार्टनर उड इयर पार्टनर इन इंडिव्हिज्युअल उन झी उबन झुजा मीन इयर फ्रॅम श्राख उबन मीन्स टू प्रॅक्टिस यू आर गोईंग टू मेट युअर टांड पार्टनर्स ऑर पार्टनर इन एन यू ऑल गोईंग टू प्रॅक्टिस टुगेदर ऑफ युअर फ्रॅम श्राख ओके रेगल म्युझिक मीन्स रेग्युलरली म्युझियम बेसुक बेसुक अगेन मीन्स टू विजिट सो रेग्युलरली यू नीड टू विजिट दी म्युझियम स्पोर्ट अनगे बोर्ड स्पोर्ट अनगे बोर्ड अनगे बोर्ड मीन्स ऑफर वॉट कॅन स्पोर्ट ॲक्टिव्हिटीज ऑफर जॉगिंग बास्केटबॉल अँड स्विमिंग स्विमिंग अँड फेस्ट मीन्स सेलिब्रेशन लाईक दिस ओके सो लेसन झी देन ब्रीफ फॉर्स मार्क इन दी मॅम मिड ग्लायडर झुजा मेन सो वॉट दे आर डुईंग हियर टुगेदर दी मिड ग्लायडर गेहेन झुजा मेन इन्स म्युझियम माखन स्पोर्ट ऑन फेस्ट झी ट्रेफन मोनाटलिश झी डिस्कुशन ऊम श्राक्टिश इम डॉयच एंग्लिश स्पानिश होरांडलिश ऊन जपानिश देन ॲट द एंड वॉट दे टोल्ड हियर झी उबुंग झुजा मेन इयर आहे फ्रॅम श्राख सो नाईन्थ A is also connected with 8th A, 9th R. Brief standards. Okay. Like what are the uh, format of the letters are that they are telling. Wo state was in brief in Aufgabe, Act A, Ordnance E, Zoo. Okay. You can see here again Zoo at the end. Address A, Strasse und Haus Nummer, Postlit Zahl means postal number and quote means place, Absender. What is the meaning of absender? Absender means sender or forwarder. Gruz. Gruz formal means greetings. Datums means date. Empfanger. Empfanger means receiver. and unter shrift means signature like this so that's what uh, here it is this betrif means what can be the meaning of betrif betrif means subject like in emails also we write subject that's subject okay unread unread means title or salutation to whom we are writing title S- uh, same way like for address uh, you can write here for example here louis maturo means what can be here it's the uh, receiver so we can write here and finger and here it is address right 
so this one is the strasse main street house number street house number and uh postal leads are house number and also place is given so odd then this one i think left this one is done so mit frondlation grossen christiana andres this one can be the greetings and unter schrift gross formen and this one is the unter schrift like this Yes. Datum. Okay. I think it's done here. Nine B. Nine B. It is very important because in A one and A two, also in B one, like you need to write in your exam email. it can be formal or informal okay so what can be the format for that anfang means to begin end means to end right for example right now only we discuss again liebe see you can see here er yes we always write dear mr and dear ms we always write in the starting so it can become here right in the begin mit freundlichen grossen right now only we we see here they wrote in the end so it can come at the here it will come at the here and this all will be this one this one you can see here also in this also they are using the same trick er for mr and e for frau okay and this will also come at the beginning again and feel a grosse we all know we write in the end regards like this so it is very important for you for schreiben now in c Sie möchten zum Sommerfest kommen. You want to come to the summer fest. Ordnen Sie die Sätze und schreiben Sie einen kurzen Brief an Frau Erendes. Okay. You need to order the sentences. This one. Okay. And you need to write a short letter. For example, this comes in your uh, even exam. This letter comes in your a1 exam and you need to write it see first of all the main thing which you need to always notice in your exam is like to whom you are writing it's a male or it's a female in this question to whom we are writing we are writing to frau frau elens so right now what trick which i told you it will come here lieber or lieber for that you need to think in your mind for masculine we use there for feminine we use the yes and if it is for frau then what will come here liebe simple like this then you don't need to memorize it at all i hope till here it is clear now we need to write the uh, letter so we are going to start with the greetings liebe frau in the name and in the second line when you are going to start it always becomes in the small letter vielen dank for ihren brief von Jungen 
my yes means we use this line many thanks for your letter for 15 may okay now what can be used there das kling sehr interessant means sounds okay you can also use this sentence in your day to day life das kling sehr interessant that sounds very interesting das kling sehr interessant leider leider means unfortunately means when we contradict a sentence so leider habe ich um 23 mai keine zeit no time so we can use this one leider habe ich um 23 mai keine zeit yes we use this one also what can be used next? Leider habe ich um 23 mal keine Zeit. Aber ich möchte gern zum Sommerfest kommen. Why? Because here they are writing here. You want to come in the Sommerfest. So, aber ich möchte gern zum Sommer Fest, common. We write till here. Aber ich möchte gern im Sommerfest kommen. And wo im Stadtpark ist das Fest? Again, there is one question for you. In the previous lecture, we did this one. I also wrote Composita. You need to tell me its full form. We wrote M, but how it is uh, fully made. Okay, please let me know in the comments. Then we, we use this one also. Then Kanish knock at was mit me. Can I also bring something with me? Kanish knock at was mit bringen. Okay, and then you need to end it. So, right now only we see for beginning and for end. For end, we use feeler gruß. Okay, feeler gruß. And also in your exam, you don't need to write your name, you just need to write XYZ or ABC. And this much only you need to write in your E1. In E1, the word limit is from 25 till 30 words. There can be uh, three uh, three questions which just you need to uh, write about them two two lines. Now again, if you will discuss about this one, you have noticed here like we have not used here any complicated sentence. For example, if I want to talk about some sentences, this one, yes. For example, if you want to form a question, second and third chapter of our A1, when we need to form a sentence, what we use to do? Again, modal verb at first position. Modal verb in conjugated form. Yes, that's what we did here. Then our subject. Yes. And then if you are using the main verb, it will come at the end of the sentence in the original form. This whole the complete verb, uh, midbringen, main verb in original form. What does the mean of uh, original form means without conjugation? Yes. You can see here we have not conjugated here. Kanish not at was mitbringen. 
for example you need just when you need to form the quotient and yeah like in, you can see here like we have not used any complex like i cannot see here we have used any complicated structure here we have just used here uh, normal grammar only in this sentence you can see here uh, maybe someone have doubt in this one like like we discussed that verbs always come at second position in conjugated form right but here it is on this one yes it is conjugated according to e according to ish you can see here we have conjugated according to ish but it's on third place not on second place and from first chapter we are seeing that always verbs come at second position in conjugated form okay but here we are using aber <clears throat> okay here we are using aber whenever you are going to use aber aber means but this aber position is zero okay we don't count it in a position okay this is zero position that's why and again from here first position second position first position second position and second position is conjugated according to your subject ish and same concept ish myoshte and your main verb comes at the end of the sentence in original form these are the small small things which you always need to consider while writing yes and also you can see in this one again kanish knock at was mid bringen here mid bringen is a train bar verb and why we have not break it in train bar verb we break the sentence we break the verbs but why we have not break because we are using also here our modal verb when we are going to use our modal verb in a sentence right now it is on first position why because it is a question form yes we can write it like this also ishkan knock at was mit bringen yes it's a simple sentence so now you can see here modal verb main verb it's a train bar verb it's a train bar verb it's a modal verb but why we have not break this one because we are using here modal verb for example if we are not going to use our modal verb then how it can be ish now this part will both will going to break ish bring a conjugated according to the subject knock at was met now you can see we have break our train bar verb in previous one why we have not break because we are using a mo modal verb also that's why it, it was not breaked and same way what we discussed in in the question form if you are going to make a question form then first second third for example if you are going to make a question so can ish knock at was met bringen okay and question form yes it's a question form you need to see and whenever it's a question form again we are using modal verb at first position and here you can also use it in a different way without modal verb this one let me choose <clears throat> hmm. so this one modal verb plus main verb and this main verb is also a train bar verb and this one just train bar verb no modal verb main verb but this main verb is also a train bar verb and this one question form with modal verb plus main verb and main verb is also train bar verb and this one again question form and main verb only which is train bar verb 
i hope now it's clear to you that you are not going to confuse that why here the train bar bob is not breaking or and why it's uh, not breaking and why it's here is breaking it's all depends on modal work so this was the schreiben activity uh, which you can also use this in your a1 exam so i hope till here it is clear to you if you like this uh, lecture please let me know in the comments and also you can subscribe to my youtube channel also follow me on instagram in the next lecture we are going to do the grammar part okay which is very important so you can uh, revise till that time all the vocabulary schreiben activity and the grammar which we have done so that is all for today dankeshon of edison ciao